Now this isn't something I normally do, but given the circumstances and the response that I've gotten from Polaris, I'm just pushed to take it another level. In 2006, I bought a uh, Hawkeye 4x4, uh, and uh, it's an ATV that's generally used for cruising, exploration. It's not a hot rod, and since 2006, I've put about 187 hours and just over 2,200 miles on it. Uh, over the past two to three years, the... Uh, rear end just felt more and more loose like it was dancing around on ice and just recently I was out with a couple of buddies and one of them in the back of behind me said you need to stop and when we took a look at it the right rear wheel was seriously uh, maladjusted if you will the toe was radically out pointing out and the camber or the tilt was quite a bit and as we looked at it it was both wheels well we limped back to the trailer brought it home and when we pulled it apart the sub-assembly under the transmission that the trans the suspension mounts to was almost ripped out on the right side and getting close to it on the left side I called Polaris and getting the runaround, typical of any larger corporation, I got, well, you know, it was out of warranty in December of 06, and there's no reported issues or problems or safety recalls, blah, 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 your SOL. Okay, so I talked to the dealer. He took some pictures, sent them up. We got the same, sorry, you're out of warranty, blah, blah, blah. I called back to support at Polaris, and the woman at the front counter who I'd already talked to gave me the same thing. You're out of warranty, blah, 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 sorry, you're SOL. Can I speak to your manager? He called me back, same story, like they reading out the same playbook. It's 2006, the warranty expired December, sorry about that, blah, 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 no safety recalls. Can I speak to your manager? Sure. Two days later, his manager calls me. Same story, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, I got it. So I ordered the part. All I was looking for was a replacement part. I wasn't looking for any compensation or anything. As you can see, I'm not a young pup. I'm not out there hot rodding all over the place. I didn't buy this thing as a hot rod machine. I'm a photographer. I like getting out in the mountains, the desert, taking pictures. So I got the new part in. And lo and behold, as you'll see in the attached video, they did some major rework for gusseting all of the corners and brackets beef that sucker up big time in comparison to the other one, which you'll also see in that video. You'll also see how the part, the original part, is cracking all over the place. I'm just, personally, I feel lucky that I didn't hit a serious bump and have that rear end rip right out of it and dump me on my head. Now, I wear a helmet and a jacket and all that. Probably wouldn't have got myself killed, but I would have definitely been bruised up, and if it had happened way back inside the mountains, I could have been in trouble. So, with that, I uh, encourage you, if you're experiencing any problems, don't give up. Don't take it lying down. This corporate policy is deny, deny, deny. Let the customer go to hell. So, Polaris, You have a good day, too. So I'm looking at the suspension mounting points on my 
Polaris Hawkeye 4x4 ATV. And as you can clearly see, there's a lot of extra gusseting, welding, and support that's been added to this piece. And if you look closely, you can see all the different points here, like right here, the structure's added thing. The sheet metal, or the metal of this brace is thick. Now if I go over here to the original one, you can see the metal is thinner, there is no support structure breaking, but you can see inside here the cracks and there the uh, this is what it cracked here it's cracked all the way down here it's split and cracked in here it's cracked down at the bottom this piece cracked so bad a chunk fell out when we undid it Both sides experience the same cracks in the same manner, yet Polaris says there are no issues reported with this. Yet, if you come back to the new one they sent me to replace it, after paying, having to pay for it, you can see all the extra gusseting support, much, much thicker metal, Oh, look at that, a cross brace. Notice the cross brace here. No cross brace there. Cross brace. No cross brace. Now, you and I both know no company adds a whole bunch of extra stuff to their production process unless there's a problem. So, Polaris, you're going to be hearing from me again to talk about this issue. Thank you for your time.